Now, I was fortunate enough to schedule a meeting with uh, Mr. Peter Kramer here. How you doing? Peter Kramer. Hello, sir. The man who's in charge of the remedy to the spindle plight that is affecting all of Berwyn. Now, Mr. Kramer is an architect. Oh, yeah. And he has been hired by the city to, uh, remedy the trouble. So, Mr. Kramer, before we move in, uh, anything you want to say about this spindle? It's, it's, it's value to the city. Why do you want to save it? Well, the aesthetic value, I mean, come on. It's been up for 19 years. I could sit here and talk about that all day. Or I could just show you what I got. I devised this little plan with me and my architecture firm. We've got this little thing going on, a few ideas. Um, this idea is the one that uh, I devised with a few of my uh, colleagues, one of them being my eight-year-old daughter in her, uh, her art class. Teacher, she's got an A on this one. It's the garage for the Berwyn Tower. Ta-da! Sir, I can I can I I can say with with the utmost. This this is your plan. This is your. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! This is your grand. This is your grand scheme. This is the grand scheme. Sir, I can say with the utmost certainty that this is probably the worst worst idea I have ever seen. And that's what everybody says upon the first time looking at it. But when you look at it a little bit closer, you see that the eight cars are obviously have been kept out of shelter for 19 years. No, sir, there's actually eight cars and only seven garages in this multi-story garage which already seems to be constructed out of cardboard and, and construction paper. What, what kind of design is this? What kind of design is it? Well, of course, it won't be built out of cardboard, stupid. It's going to be built out of steel. Now we can get to them and really make them work, function, maybe make them fly. You ever see those flying cars? You don't see enough of them nowadays. These cars could very well fly, and because of me, they could fly because of me. And get them off the spindle, use the spindle as uh, the stripper pole for the largest stripper in all of Illinois, something like that. They're out there. Well, the largest stripper is actually the cow. What about the homeless population in Berwyn? Where are they going to sleep at night? We have this extra garage for reasons. We should, we could also put garbage. Sir, we all know that in Berwyn they burn the homeless. Well, they do that. And they burn garbage, so we put them all in this garage and just light it all on fire. You're quitting human lives to garbage? Sir, that is just disgusting. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes it's the sad truth. Sometimes it's just the sad truth. But if we can get these cars down, we can fix them, and then use the burned uh, people and garbage as fuel for the cars to make them run. Bingo, bingo. Garage, well used, well suited for the job. I think this is the greatest idea I've ever had. The first idea... Sir, some of the ideas that were proposed before were things like perhaps moving the car up somewhere else, or, or perhaps putting another sculpture entirely out of the remaining cars, but here instead you, you plan to keep them in a shelter next to them, which doesn't even make any sense at all, sir. Makes sense. It doesn't have to make sense. It has to make productivity. What we have here is we have these garages. The cars can go in them, so you don't lose the cars. You don't have to move them for thirty, three hundred thousand dollars, whatever ridiculous price they're proposing. Instead, you have the luxury of having a nice, convenient, warm air conditioning. Sir, there are some people in history that have been called madmen when they were truly innovators. They called Thomas Edison a madman. They called Nikola Tesla a madman because they said their ideas were mad. But really, they were vindicated by history. Sir, I can honestly say that you are simply a madman. The fact that this design here will never be vindicated by history at all. Well, they said that when Da Vinci invented the airplane. This could be my airplane, and I could be the Da Vinci or, you know, Raphael's, you know, unicycle that he invented. Yeah, this sir, is this is actually seven cars, eight cars. With a large 40-foot metal spike through them, these cars are no longer functioning. Why would you spend time to save these cars? Spend time. Why would I spend time? Because it's something that the people of Berwyn value. And they're not usable because of the fact that there's a pole through them. No, they're not usable because no one can ever get to them. Because they're suspended 40 feet in the air, like this Volkswagen up here. Who could get to that? Who would want to get to it? Nobody. Now with this garage, there's an elevator, so you could go up it and very easily get to this these cars that you couldn't get to before. It's a garage. Garage. So, so I'm actually counting more doors than there are cars. I'm just, I'm just curious as to know why there's extra doors. You plan on putting more actually, cars on a spindle? Well, for storage. You know, there's garbage on the streets. It just doesn't dissolve. You put the garbage in there. You can put whatever you want in there. Is this actually real, sir? Are you in fact a real architect? Am I a real architect? Well, some people will debate whether I have a real license to be practicing architecture. But some will also say that I have a lot of good ideas. I also was the guy that invented the melon baller. 
I have a lot of good ideas. This is one of them. I like using one. credentials, actually. Credentials? You want my credentials? I've got years of credentials somewhere in here, see? This is the, um, the online course I took to actually be an architect. See that? Look at that. I got a 20 out of 20 on the test. That's all I had to do, and I'm an architect. I even have the certificate, too. But I ran out of ink halfway, but it's still half of the certificate I received upon becoming an architect. It could be the world's largest toothpick. Maybe, uh, maybe a giant will come into town and we'll need to use a toothpick. Nobody's thought of it. And people, like, will hate on it, or whatever terms the kids use nowadays, because it, it's not what normal people usually think. Sir, you seem more like a ruthless opportunist than an actual architect. Well, you're a ruthless toothpick.